So we will move on, and now it's documentary guilt, and we have a president of the documentary guild coming up here. Wonderful to have a president among us. He's coming there. Welcome. And you have half an hour. If you can do it shorter, we would appreciate that because we are running a little out of time. Just to put a little pressure on you. I'm sure that you guys find a hard time to stay here after lunch, but I'm going to tell you some of the news um, from the Russian Documentary Guild. First of all, my name is Evgeny Grigoryev. I am perhaps the youngest president in the history of this guild that is 13 years old. I am a director. I have. I am a recipient of all the national um, awards, with an exception of Nika and the Golden Eagle. And now I'm working in the commercial area and also in the theater. But I started working documentaries about three years ago. This is my cell phone. I'm not reading SMSs. Please don't worry. First of all, I want to start by saying thank you to Docs Pro for this conference, for giving me a chance to talk about uh, my guild, the documentary guild. Everybody um, of you thinks that I'm going to tell you about the new guild of the Russian documentary films. What is new guild? It exists, it exists since, if I'm not mistaken, from 2001. No, I have a correction from 1998. So it's for a long time, and for less than a year ago, my um, elder colleagues uh, made a convention that we have to give power to the young generation. So they offered me to try to, to try, and then I did try, and then I had my own convention, which says the following. I have my own program, and I have my own team, so I change the management of the old guild. Well, among my older colleagues were the classics of um, documentary films. They were major plays in the market. So that is the generation that actually brought the fame to the documentary films. The conventions that we signed meant that the elder colleagues are not going away from the guild. It means that we stand on their shoulders. So um, during this year, we not the full year, but still, we respect those conventions. Everything that I asked for, I was given. Now about my team. We diversified the management, and now we have four um, directions of the management work. Each direction is headed by a particular person. I chose them using the criteria as following. First of all, I had to like the person, because I worked with that person for a long time. Second of all, all the candidates had to have competencies um, in the areas close to di film directing. And the third very important moment, all these people have to be independent of the documentary film industry. So they have, I mean, they have to be independent in their mind. They have to be resistant to corporate pressure, and they have to have their own point of view. And they also don't have to be financially dependent on us because they have their children that they have to feed. And the most important, they really have to love cinema. They have to see cultural aspects and societal values. And I'm happy to say that Mr. Jadayev is here and Nikita Tikhonov Rao is here. He's the vice president of the guild. He is responsible for the distribution, the distribution of documentary film. Please sit down. I'm going to call you when I need you. And Gosha Malatsov, you probably know him very well. A lot of our foreign guests uh, know him because he's responsible for international distribution. Nikita is responsible for 
education programs. I'm going to talk about that a bit later today. And Masha Miroshnichenko, who is the daughter of Sergei Valentinovich, she herself is a great director. She works with television, so she's the head of uh, television communication. We have about 750 regional channels and Russia TV channels, and you know the federal channels, so there are a lot of television channels that she's working with. So um, i tell you what was the state of the documentary guild that I received in my hands. There were 42 members in the guild. They had 32,000 rubles in their account, and um, there were a lot of internal conflicts. On December 4th last year was the state of affairs there. On December 4th, we decided to find the goal. So we wrote it down. The Guild of Russian Documentary Films is an industrial organization. So there have to be specialists in the document films. And their efforts should be dedicated to make this guild for masses. It should be industrial and it should be all Russia guild. So we are striving to achieve that our organization, our guild, and all the film industry in Russia, the salespeople, the directors, everybody who is involved in the movie makers, we approach them. Because if we have only 42 people in our guild, we cannot build an industry. The Russian Documentary Guild thinks that it's very important to build a professional network within the, uh, within the movie world, within the documentary cinema world. What we found when we came to management is that information was not transparent, information was not traveling. So if we send information to the Ministry of Culture, it would not reach the Ministry of Culture. Also, we have a very big country, which we know, and it has many regions. If one region does something, another region probably doesn't know it. So information media was really not in a good state. Documentary a documentary was probably becoming a television film, and that's it. So our next goal was to work on that informational space, on that exchange of information. So we had a meeting, and we decided we are competitors during the film festivals, but within, within our society we cooperate and we help each other. So everybody who joins our guild should read that on our website and work with those principles. We also understood last December that what the Guild needed is not so much the money, but perhaps amicable, amicable relations between each other to build a dialogue within the professional society. When we mentioned that during January and during February, I gave work to about 25 people using my mobile phone, by the way, because people trusted me. What are the principles? And then, you know, people started calling me. People started calling us, and the work began. We have yet another goal that we are striving within these months. The guild will be the counter-agent against the educational establishment and against the programs that are targeted at education. Let's start with the television channels. We have Nikita with us, and Masha is with us, and another Nikita is with us too. So they will... Um, Judge my words, we started several very important initiatives. First, the Russian state television makes the social network doc. doc. Um, it buys our films, of films of our members, and we have a partnership agreement signed with them. We are the key agents, we are the key partners in promoting that television channel. We do the same, we work in the same way with a cable television channel. We also started to work closely with the cinema clubs. So Nikita told me about 60 cinema clubs, film clubs are with us. And I think the day before yesterday we also saw the film club Zhukovsky. Then we saw this another St. Petersburg film club yesterday. We just want to build a platform for the film clubs 
So the film clubs in Russia would get legal content that could be used in small towns and big cities, and they would keep on their working. The city of Kostroma already has a few street screenings that we provide for them. So we're not trying to be exclusive. We're trying to do what we can do. We can organize events. We can organize special events, for example, for the film clubs, and we do that. Yet another very important convention that we signed. Each member of the guild should be ready for public works. I don't know why that happened. Maybe it's the Soviet past that we all have in our heads. But nobody wants public works. Nobody wants to create public welfare. Because maybe we don't understand something correctly. We try now to do everything for us personally. But now we want to change that picture. We want to have public works back. For example, a lot of the times our guild members are filming something, things for free. And those documentaries that were shot for free, we show in the regions of Russia. Such cities as Novosibirsk and Perm and Vladivostok take part in our work. The cities were just absent in our head before the December of last year. We were not working with them before December last year. When we as young people started working with the guild, we understood we know nothing about our industry, the documentary film industry. Oh, well, I must say that we found common language, common grounds with the Ministry of Culture. We are greatly supported by the fact that we can take part in tenders and in subsidies. We won tender with four organizations. We were very honest to um, research the market of documentary films in Russia. You will be the first people that I'm telling that information to. So this is the preliminary report. These are preliminary numbers. Nobody heard these numbers before. This is a global research uh, for the last eight years that we are undertaking now. We have the money from the Ministry of Culture. And based on that research, we will have to develop, our guild will have to develop a suggestion how to develop the systems of support, state support for documentary films. I will tell you some of the numbers. According to the polls, the 271 studios take part in 71.6 producers of documentary film assure that documentary film industry has to be remodeled. Industry lacks um, well, dis good distribution channels. 67% of those who were asked think that the industry have to work on the international level, have to work on the international market. So you see that a few years ago, the major complaints were about lack of money. Now the complaint is that we don't have enough distribution channels. 63% of the respondents do not realize their rights, do not implement their rights. Therefore, we decided, based on our guild, to create a small uh, distribution agency. Of course, it will be very difficult at first for this distribution agency. It will be an image-building project, but we started that project already. We, um, we developed a convention, and now this convention is ready to be signed. So we're offering the major place to sign that convention. Me as a director, I never signed a single contact. I'm telling you what's happening right now. So I personally haven't signed anything, but I will sign very soon the agreement. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I have to look at my cell phone. There are a lot of things happening. I told you about the research, the preliminary numbers, about international promotion on the movie market. In 2013, for the first time, we managed to achieve understanding with the Ministry of Culture of the Russian Federation. 
that we have to develop our documentary films on the international markets. We created a program. We won a subsidy. So the subsidy is for the first half of the year. I don't know if it will be subsidized finance for the second half of the year. We're hoping that it will be yes. But like, we also wanted to participate, for example, in this conference that's also promoting the Russian documentary on the national markets, I think. So we are fulfilling our promises to the Ministry of Culture. So that's what we have in, the, in our guild, 170 members. Remem so the members are four times, the number of members is four times as big as at the beginning. Six million rubles is the budget of our guild. It also, you know, it's very important because the budget grew substantially after we changed the management of the guild. The most important news for you as well, by the way, our international colleagues, we are creating a very convenient portal. We signed all the agreements already about this portal. It is very complex. International distributors on demand and those who filter films for the festivals can watch the new, new released films with subtitles anywhere they want to watch them. So our important task is to be convenient for the international market because I know that we are not, you know, we are not great right now. We are, sell, we are sending DVDs, we are making mistakes in English subtitles, and sometimes we, um, we use the music that was stolen, so not legally bought, so you can see them, you can watch them only in Russia. But we have to change that tradition. We spend quite a lot of money now to create industrial agreements. In our guild, when we started analyzing the conflicts, the internal conflicts that we have, we found that people come and start working without signing an agreement. Even the director sometimes doesn't sign an agreement. So when finally the film is made, there is no more money. Nobody knows to whom the material belongs to. So we have to fight sometimes via Facebook, which is bad for our industry, you know. So what we offer now is all the members of our guild should sign in the contracts, we are working on those contracts because we're industrial guild. We can turn to the producers that are the strictest producers that they can read through the document, the agreement. We can turn to the directors, the most liberal directors, so they have to read through an agreement. So we give that agreement to the industry. What is because what's important for us is that people at least sign agreements before they started working. There is a great tradition in Russia, people sign agreements without even reading them through. That would be our next step, to teach people to read an agreement. I forgot what else I have to talk about. Nikita, please help me. Or maybe you have questions for me, I don't know. About educational programs. That educational programs, the history is as follows. The Ministry of Culture has the um, education center. We will have our own cluster in that center. We're talking about it right now with the Ministry of Culture. And that would be part of our international activity, actually. We're planning to send our directors abroad, but we also wrote down for 300 pages a uh, concept of our international promotion, you know, with all the system, with all the rules. So when, when it is signed, I'll be able to tell you more in detail. We will bring international people here who could teach us, who could tutor us to things that we don't know. And we will use that new knowledge in our filmmaking. Besides, we want to teach director and television producer how to communicate. I'm not saying that television is the most important um, thing, but we still should pay a lot of attention to television because quite a number of films are distributed only on the television, and that is the fact, so we have to take it into consideration. I'm done. I'm done. I
I think so. What happened? I oh. studied English, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't understand English, okay. But you speak fantastically in Russian, <laughs> and the translator are very good. So I, I just feel that there's a lot of uh, things happening here in, in, in you and with, with the documentary film center, with the documentary guild. The young people have taken over. The old ones have been kicked out. <laughs> But they are probably still members, I suppose. How many members of Documentary Guild are here? Uh -huh. Why are the rest of you not members? Okay. You should sign up after this speech. I think what he is saying is really communicating. Here's some energy and something, something must happen. Uh, really, congratulations with, with, uh, with what you're doing. And wish you all, all the best luck. Can we have a couple of questions to, to the president? Or maybe also to the vice president, if the president allows the vice president to talk? A, <laughs> does the vice president want to say something? Yeah, it's possible. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Zene was very emotional, that's why we love him. He's a great leader that uh, we want to follow. But, but I'd like to... so that uh, you have a bit more clear picture in, in your mind. Uh, those directions that we follow, they cover all that has to do with development of documentary. First direction, first area is an international promotion. We have a festival rating of Russian uh, works, Russian documentaries. This, this rating is very sophisticated systems of uh, of points gathering to evaluate how successful those this uh, or that uh, uh, production was. I'm not talking about uh, artistic qualities that uh, something that appeals to everyone, but it's, it's about some objective characteristics uh, in how many festivals this uh, film was featured, whether a TV screening has taken place, whether it was broadcast uh, in the web. This is one area of working with the distribution. The other area is the work that is funded by the Russian uh, mi Minister of Culture. It's a systematic promotion of Russian uh, documentaries uh, in international areas so that they are featured in all major industry events uh, covering all major markets, Sheffield, Prague, London, Amsterdam, Leipzig, and so on and so forth. Now have a chance to engage in this work systematically, have a systematic approach in this respect because we have help from the state. Another cluster is distribution, which is I am in charge of. In this field, we have uh, created a license agreement that, that Evgeny has mentioned. Now we're going to together non-exclusive rights so that this product uh, uh, can be distributed through various channels. So we're going to to bring together and to unite in one system all the clubs, uh, uh, industry clubs in, in Russia that, that are multiple. So and so to create a single unified platform. We actually we don't make we don't want to make people work the other way as we do it. We just uh, uh, put together information. We we provide favorable conditions. We provide convenient services. It's not a part of our job to monopolize something. The sense of our activity is is to combine various elements and bring bring together uh, all uh, stockholders, all major players, and we bring them together in a systematic way so that they can uh, complement each other. And a third uh, area of our work is event, event management, uh, including educational programs uh, that Nikita Suturin is in charge of. He's uh, uh, sadly not here. Fourth area is uh, working with TV channels. 
it does not it has nothing to do with distribution, but it has to do with special projects that we do at the level of pitching and on special series of TV programs. So we're going to be in initiators of uh, special art cinema. We're going to uh, create a, a creative uh, a creative department of our guild, or art department of our guild, uh, which is going to be um, in charge of that work. So we, we want to stay very consistent, very stubborn uh, to succeed in our uh, undertakings and I hope that in, in two or three years' time we're likely to see major differences. One important thing that concerns our guests, the Russian Documentary Guild knows practically everyone who is, who is involved in non-fiction uh, film. Should you need any information about something or someone, please you are welcome to, to send your message to our email. Six people have access to this email, so please feel free to, to send any of your requests. So this is a uh, major enter, enter point for entering Russian market. Please uh, welcome again. So we're going to have our site, our website translated uh, into English uh, by by December. Okay. So then that's that's it. Uh, one one more great thing for, for those who who is following our our uh, discussion in the web, and also for for, for those guild members. We have uh, registered uh, the portal ergedoc.com.ru, uh, sorry. And those of the guild members are going to be the uh, correspondents of uh, this portal. We'll have some special preferences because our activity is regulated by the civil code, which makes our work bit more difficult, but if you are a member, if you present a uh, mass media in form of Russian documentary guild, then you'll have it a bit more easy. I'm sure that, that uh, there will be many possibilities also for for you guys to work with EDN and in, 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 in a, a lot of things. And I can say for myself that that uh, it has always been quite difficult to get to see new Russian documentaries. You meet people like Tatiana, Sergei, uh, Grigori, etc., in, in, in different places, and they have some DVDs in, in, in their back, and we get it like that. But otherwise, I mean, you read about them, but how do you get them? So if you are making this portal with English subtitles, where festival people like me selecting for festivals, it will be fantastically well, I mean, received. I'm sure about that. Are there any scheduled timing where, when that could be happening? Uh, we have another um, friend of us who you know perfectly, it's, uh, George Molotsov. He's now making his um, um, university in the uh, United States. And um, I think we will do it by the end of the year. It will not be of full functionality, but it will, in some, in some, in some parts, it will already work by the end of the year. Yes. No, but exactly. You uh, you said what I was going to say. That uh, of course we need to sit down and and uh, work more concrete together. Uh, you're a member of EDN, the guild. I know that. And uh, and uh, Georgi Molotsov, he has uh, actually. Um, he and I have discussed that we should not discussed. We have agreed that we should sit down and work together. Um, if on a political level, but definitely also on a practical level. If you are trying to, which I can only support very strongly, to uh, have standard agreements uh, that can, that can uh, help to legalize the market, so to speak, 
Uh, we have a lot of, of information both at the office in EDN but of course also among our members. So uh, I'm sure that whatever inspiration and information from, from uh, different countries, uh, we can provide you with that and get you in contact with the right people. So I think we should talk concrete, right?